I'm Natalie Dedridge. CBS Mornings is next. Have a great day. CBS Mornings on this Wednesday, Hump Day. I'm Gail King. I'm Nick Burleson. And I'm Vladimir Dutier. Tony's off today, but let's go to today's eye opener. It's your world in 90 seconds. Breaking overnight, the Justice Department is looking at what Donald Trump did after the last election as he considers running for president again. Our country is now a cesspool of crime. It's going to hell very fast. It's a very unsafe place. The Fed is set for another interest rate hike to curb inflation amid recession fears. Two negative quarters of GDP growth is not the technical definition of recession. At least four people are dead and dozens more injured after a powerful earthquake in the northern Philippines. Flooding in St. Louis turns deadly and forces multiple water rescues, part of a pattern of severe weather in America. And at this point, just glad to be in one piece. In Los Angeles, an armed man carjacked a construction truck. Oh, that innocent person right there. Mega millions, more like mega billion. Now the jackpot raises to $1.02 billion. What? Are you ready for even more football? The NFL hopes so because they're launching their own streaming service for the first time called NFL Plus. It's a similar model to CNN Plus, but with viewers. Russia now saying it's going to pull out of the International Space Station amid heightened tensions over the war in Ukraine. Good luck to them making a dramatic exit when there's zero gravity. <laughs> This morning's eye opener is presented by Progressive, making it easy to bundle insurance. <laughs> so, what's the point Trevor's making there? Vladimir? It's basically that? that you know you're so far up in space and you're lobbing you're all these threat. threats, yeah. and everybody's like, "No problem, <laughs> we got you covered. Yeah. <laughs> Stay up there." Yeah. Okay, got all it. All right, welcome to CBS Mornings. We've got some stories about healing today. We'll talk with Paul DeGilder, a former Navy diver who survived a horrific attack by a shark. Now he's made it his mission to educate people about the animals and how to deal with fear. You'll want to hear this story, even if you never go near the water. Plus, we are talking to the Smashing Pumpkins frontman Billy Corgan and his partner Chloe Mendel. They live in Highland Park, Illinois, site of a terrible mass shooting at this year's 4th of July parade. And guess what? They've decided to help their community through music. We're going to ask Billy and Chloe how a tragedy like this affects them as artists and as parents. Now we all are feeling that. We all remember that terrible day. We're going to begin, though, with some remarkable breaking news overnight. President Trump's actions leading up to the January 6th riot are now under under criminal investigation by the Department of Justice. Now, this comes after weeks of hearings on Capitol Hill with evidence and testimony from many of his former allies about the effort to undermine the 2020 election results. Yesterday, the former president delivered his first speech in Washington. It was his first since leaving office, where he appeared to lay the groundwork that he's going to run again for president. Jeff Begay has more from the Department of Justice. Jeff, good morning to you. It is too early to tell.